Hello, it's Dr. Jeetan Bendor for Physician Perspectives. Let's talk about muscle-brain crosstalk and physical activity. Over the centuries, several philosophers have expressed ideas that are compatible with the existence of a muscle-brain endocrine loop. Friedrich Nietzsche said that all truly great thoughts are conceived by walking. Soren Kierkegaard said, I have walked myself into my best thoughts and I know of no thought so burdensome that one cannot walk away from it. We know that neurological and mental illnesses account for a considerable proportion of the global burden of disease and exercise has many beneficial effects on brain health contributing to decreased risk of dementia, depression and stress and it has a role in restoring and maintaining cognitive function and metabolic control. The fact that exercise is sensed by the brain suggests that muscle-induced peripheral factors enable direct crosstalk between muscle and brain function. Muscle secretes myokines that contribute to the regulation of hippocampal function. So evidence is accumulating that the myokine cathepsin B passes through the blood-brain barrier to enhance brain-derived neurotropic factor production and hence neurogenesis, memory and learning. Very interesting. The take-home messages from this review is that exercise can indirectly be sensed by the brain via adipose tissue or adiponectin or liver. Myokines mediate muscle organ crosstalk to the liver, gut, pancreas, adipose tissue, bone, vascular bed, skin and brain. And cathepsin B is an exercise-induced myokine required for exercise-induced improvement in memory and adult neurogenesis. As well, exercise increases muscular expression of kinurin aminotransferases, which converts blood levels of neurotoxic kinurin to the neuroprotective kinuric acid, thereby reducing depression-like symptoms. So, managing and maintaining skeletal muscle is important and its activity improves crosstalk between muscle as well as the brain and that can enhance neurogenesis, memory and learning. Thank you.